Hello everyone and welcome back to a blind let's play return to Monkey Island for the PC My name is Flutter's Bird. This is your play story based gaming channel and today Well today we have quite a few things we need to do For one we need to get this to be a lot hotter than it is <laughs> And he's laughing at me. I know I know I know I'm trying Lombe. I'm trying uh, We need to steal the map we need to the mo the, really, like, the, the biggest thing is we need to get Flambe support. If we get Flambe support, we'll get the book, which will get uh, Apple Bob support. And then all we need to do is get Iron Rose's support, which will get us Putra support. And all of that will work together. Oh boy, I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. These things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all did the same. I'm not exactly sure where we're going today. Well, it looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. And I'm not ready to use a um a hint yet. I feel like I'm kind of there because I have no idea where where we're gonna get uh, pepper, but at the same time, Guybrush wears unknown. Um, how am I supposed to know unknown? Ah, how am I? I mean, maybe he mentioned one time that he sleeps in the buff. I don't I know. It's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Hmm. E, devil crabs like limbs, apparently. What can we do? Ready for cannon firing. I guess we could talk to Rose. And start there. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith about not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. How do we get her to not have a crisis of faith? It's a stack of papers stamped by LeChuck. Oh! We give her this! Um, this. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. <laughs> Chuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Yes. All right. So now what we need to do is figure out how to make the... Uh... I never noticed the glowing embers down here. How do we get more devil pepper? Because I don't have a clue how to get more devil pepper. Not, not one iota. Okay. Um. Uh, you'll have to convince each member I know. How do I get Plumbay's vote? Uh, how much you make it hot? Yeah, I know. That's the problem. I don't know how to make it hotter. Plum may describe the Scorch Loska as like a hot poker to the tongue. So, do I use... This? That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Hmm... Impale it. That seems promising, but inconvenient. I need some other fire source. 
hardly any warmer now. It's not that. All right, let's go check around. Let's go look around for uh, some These open plan some areas that are easy. hot. I don't see any hot areas down here. I thought for sure that would work. Uh, the uh, the cannon. Make it hotter somehow. How, 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 how? How do I make this hotter? Shouldn't he be swabbing? I, I will in a second. I'm trying to. It's hardly any warmer now. I need to get a hot poker or something or. I can't combine this. No, I can't. Can I switch this with the map? No. Can I put this with the map? I don't like the way you're eyeing my map. I need to distract him somehow. Okay, hand it over. I feel like the supply of paperwork is endless. I can't move while he's stamping, by the way. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. Paperwork. Oh, it looks like he just keeps stamping the stuff over and over. And like I said, I can't do anything while he's doing that. So I can't grab the map or something. I'm trying to use everything everywhere. to see if one of these things work. Hmm. Swap my tree map with the Chuck's map. I don't like the way you're eyeing my map. I need him to not look. What do you want? Look behind you, it's a three-headed monkey. Are you sure I can't take a peek at the map to the secret? Touching that map is a shortcut to being keelhole. I'll just go. Now get. Maybe I can't get the map until after I convince the crew. Need something hot. I need. I need something pokey. Uh, let's go to the hold. I can't take this um this thing with me, can I? I'll leave my work down here. No, I can't. Darn it! All right, let's go back in. Let's go outside. One revoltingly greasy port. I need a hot poker. I don't see anything down here. I don't see anything down here. Alright, continue to look around. I mean, this is the nature of a point-click adventure game after all, it's the discovery. And yes, I know I can look up the answer in a second, but I'd rather try my best before giving up. There's nothing wrong with giving up. I have said before, I play the game to have fun. I'm, I like to be challenged. I like to be thorough, but there are times when, well, when I'm just not as far as the game makers, that's all. <laughs> it's gotta be. There's nothing down here. Nothing over here. 
Nothing over here. Can't use this anywhere. Ready for cannon firing. And you're not gonna use this with this. Well, that seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Uh... Can I use something with the cannon? Wait, did I just slow okay, more into the cannon? I just need one more thing from you. You tried to smash me and drown me, and I have emerged unscathed. Well, almost unscathed. <laughs> I was There's unscathed. nothing you can do that will harm me. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fire him over to the ship, aren't I? I better get my hands on LeChuck's map first. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. So I need to get LeChuck's map and I need to fire him over to the other ship. You uh, okay in there, Murray? When I get out of here, I'm going to chew both your legs off <laughs> and use your treacherous fingers to pick my teeth. Okay, yeah, he's then. fine. Just checking. <laughs> nest is up there. I can't find anything. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Can I ring this twice? That time again already? Well, let's get to it. Back straight, you shifty, feckless parasites! Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, can blah, I sneak into his blah, cabin blah, now? Blah 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 blah. But I need to do this secretive, so I need to give him a false map, right? Um, map. The map's map. A map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need a unanimous vote from the crew. No problem. Thank if I'm the wrong mail? about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Okay, we got the map. Hardly any warmer now. I don't know of anything else here. We should probably get out of here before the Chuck finds me and like skewers me. In conclusion, shape up. Or the eels will be gnawing on your cockers. <laughs> All right, same time tomorrow then. Dismissed. All right, that worked for the map, but it didn't work for figuring out a uh, a solution to this problem. Can I stab? I can't. C can you hit this up for me? I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Ugh, take the monstrosity away. Its bluntness offends me, even at a distance. Scots Alaska must be like a hot poker to the tongue. I don't know how to get this. <laughs> a hot poker to the tongue. I have a hot poker, but I can't use it. Is there any other hot pokers anywhere? Map to the secret. Begin your search at the redberry bush. Follow the stone monkey head. Stick to the path by the wooded chicken. Sneak past the bees and heed the sign. An X marks the spot. I don't want to give up, but I want to get more clues. Uh, oops. <laughs> Hot poker to the tongue. So I keep going back to this. It's too early for this. Right now, the crew still won't follow Madison's ship. That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Is there anything else I can use on the poker to make it more convenient to carry around? A 
Oh! Yes! Alright! That works! This should make it good and scorchy. Oh! Yes! Finally! I don't think I should. I'm not big on fire eating. <laughs> oh! Thank you, Lord! Finally! I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska. Sweet, poisonous shades of my... Shady and poisonous childhood. <laughs> it seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. Eh? There's one bite missing. I, um, well. Much respect, Swabby. <laughs> I hate being in date, so uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. Excellent. The one with the the one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Excellent. Ooh. It's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. Are there any good jokes? It's Flambe's Aww. Underworld Joke Book. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. Yeah, I think so too. I just double checked my notes. Alright, uh, ring the bell once. One bell. Voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Yes! Six in favor, none opposed. Woo! I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. On to Monkey Island we go. So then you went to Monkey Island. Almost. It was time to send Murray back to Madison. And even if they didn't tell me that, I already know what to do here. You uh, okay in there, Murray? When I get out of here. I'm ah, okay, you're fine. Just <laughs> Sorry about this, Murray. I love you and all, but. Oh, we get a close up of him blasting off. Aw, oh, shuck. Aw, oh, there we go. <laughs> the eye just quivers. She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. Days pass. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <laughs> Everyone's like, that's Extra not money. Drug rations for everyone. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, Gabbush, Gabbush, danger, da danger. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oops. I did not see that coming. <laughs> I suppose you think you're very clever. Oh, uh, let's just say they were <laughs> more clever than the other. Right up to the part where I took off the eye patch. Right up to the part where I took off the eye patch. I got carried away. I've really started to feel like part of the crew. Well, you've already seen what happens to crew who displease me. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jack. Where did we get this sword from? Anyway, you move like a wounded hippopotamus. I'm gonna skew you like a pig on a spit. You're as rusty as a butter knife you call a sword. Let's make this quick. I got a point but with the secret. You move like a wounded hippopotamus. You move like a dead one. And yeah, that doesn't rhyme. Okay. Decent comeback. Why don't you try again? Uh, you're all buster and no luster. You're all flavor and no savor. You're all buttress and no cutlass. You're all swag. Oh, they're all so good. You're all buttress and no cutlass. You're all mattress and a blast. <laughs> Wait, that's cheating. 
That's thing. cheating. Cheating. Exactly. I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. I was waiting for the feather Wait, duster line. I know that one. Yeah. Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Like a conductor's baton. It's waving goodbye. Either way, I'll clear the floor with you. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. I can't decide <laughs> if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby. Oh, that's hey, a good comeback. You're laying a comeback on my comeback? <laughs> <laughs> you really should keep up on the latest <laughs> trends. Goodbye, <laughs> Freepwood. Oh, that was great. Well, not so great. Part three, return to Monkey Island. My Island, six minute walk. Good thing I can still hold my breath for 10 minutes. More or less. More or less. Is it more or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for 10 minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. <laughs> One time I heard you say 12. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do 10 minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. <laughs> now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Technically it's eight minutes plus five minutes plus, what, three and a half minutes. Monkey Island, six minute walk. We don't need to test the, uh, two minutes later. We don't need to test the, uh, the, the breathing again. We've already, uh, done it. Been there, done it, got the t-shirt. Two minutes later. At least we're getting plenty of trivia cards. Ew, it's a hand. Two minutes later. Hey, I thought you said it was a six minute walk. Okay, there we go. At last! Hello, Monkey Island. It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Ronnie is not completely watered down. Of course, I didn't write it down, so... Ah, there we go. So, red berry bush. I should probably write this down. Uh, red berry bush. Follow... Stone monkey hand stick to path by wooden chicken. Okay. Uh, sneak past bees and keyed sign. X marks spot. Hi, little guy. How you doing? We got a couple tribute cards, by the way. The official name of the voodoo shop is... It's, uh... Oh, is it the Inner House of Mojo or the Inner House of Voodoo? Ah, I forget which one it is. Ah, it was Mojo, wasn't it? Ah, oh, I feel so bad for not knowing that one. I should have known that one! Uh, what cannot be found on a sea floor? Um... A geyser. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I have no clue whatsoever. Oh, hello, what's this? Cute romantic Aww. heart. It's a heart with L and E, someone romantically carved into the tree. Oh, let's check in Elaine. Oh, that's not romantic at all. That's really creepy. Murray? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll Aww. take this for my Shakespeare summer stock. <laughs> Just some old skull. Ah, I want to see Murray again. That would have been great. All right, so Redberry Bush, that's where we need to go to. That is Gazeworthy. Ah, I'm out of this place. This is why I uh, blew up my uh, crew by um, <clears throat> accident. Murray, is that you? I probably should have left you in your crate. Oh. It's just a sea salt encrusted skull. No 
I'll keep this in case I ever take up skull jello. <laughs> yes! I want to. Oh, wait, I should probably save. You, you. I have died in this game, so. This is where I accidentally fell years ago when the ledge collapsed. Good times. Ah. Uh, the game remembers us doing it, but it won't let us do it again. Ah, uh, shucks. Oh, hello, trigger card. Who was the editor of the Pirate Times? Uh, Conrad Lee? Don't know why I know that. Just seemed familiar somehow. Or maybe I just totally guessed. Not sure. Spectacular. Splendid. Wow. Spe magnificent. It is really cool. Too bad he doesn't mention how he uh, blew up his group by mistake. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. Return to LeChuck's needlessly overstated ship. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about getting you mixed up in this. Oh, it's just a weird looking skull. I'll keep this for no reason. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just doing it because it's different. Dinner? Yeah, I guess not. Crap, people, crap, this tremendous people. ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. Hey, it's Murray again. Is that you? I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. Oh, it's just a soaked skull. I'll keep this for my Skull Club meetup. Watch out. Oh my god. I'm sensing pure evil here. <laughs> More than what's reasonable for an ordinary sea creature. Yeah, <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, the monster from uh, Quest of Glory 4. Azuzo! Oh, uh, Afuzo! Afuzo! That is a cool anchor, by the way. Look at that ex pirate demonic shaped thing there. Yeah, I want to know what happens if you go up on the uh, ship considering you're not disguised. I'm glad that giant shark thing didn't eat me. It's good to know. This one doesn't open. Oh, we can uh, go visit our friend here. I wonder if he's still there. Hey, he's still here. Drown him down. I just me thoughts. Oh, he's writing poetry. Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. <laughs> My mistake. See you later. <laughs> oh, I'll be joking. <laughs> Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it's... It, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my head. <laughs> well, I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Worms? Hey, I said squirms. Germs? Words? Pachyderms? <laughs> I'm gonna go with what I said. Squirms. Squirms. Oh, yeah. That could work. All right, then. I also need an idea for something that grows. A lantern? Maggots? Roses? Rocks? Earwax? Resentment? Ooh. That's deep right there. Resentment? I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Whack? Snack, smack, crack, fanatic, yak, yak, uh, yak work. Yak. Right, uh, of course, very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up. Nah, uh, he's a bit underwater. <laughs> what do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? Well, so you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea why I'm even <laughs> I have no idea either. It's just fun. How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job, breaking in a new swab. That's not bad. Lob, <laughs> fob, gob, oh, gob, gob to work. Anyway, let's just say that upper management took exception to my methods. And here I am. The new swab you mentioned, what was he like? Rising star? 
diamond in the rough? Uh-huh. Useless plaque. <laughs> I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. Also, he come down here, stole a knife I was keeping in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to help. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell about people. Wow. Wow. Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? No. <laughs> it's like, no. Enjoy your evening. Are you leaving? Without, without helping me, when I get out of here, I'm going to eat what little there is of your brain and use your broken ribs to pick my teeth. Such a nice guy. He is, he's really just such a nice guy. Alright, let's go back into our... They've sealed it shut. Really? They've sealed it shut. Oh, the jerks. Oh, hello. Whoa. Uh, die. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. Alright, well, that was a quick eviction. Ah, I wasn't... I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. But, you know, it's all good. Uh, let's head to shore and we will start with by going to the red berry bush. Sounds like a plan. Red berry bush. And we follow the monkey hand. Yes, follow the monkey hand. Oh, hello. At the end of Monkey Island 1, the check was defeated with root beer. I mean, if I had missed that, I would have been, I, I just would have been shamed out of my channel forever. You don't hear much about land pirates, but they're out there. I don't eat trail berries. Not after what happened last time, <laughs> and the time before that. <laughs> it's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about what part I might find next. Yeah. All right, where to next? Uh, stick to the path by the wooden chicken. It's running a little fast. <laughs> well, I would have carved a pulley in the middle, but that's just me. Yeah, definitely. I love the chicken with the pulleys in the middle. Okay, where next? Uh, sneak past the bees. I do like honey, but I don't want to escalate the situation. It literally says secret. secret. This way. It's pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. <laughs> hm, I didn't know the island was zoned for housing. Which of the greatest does not require to make a booty doll? Okay, uh, ooh. Uh, some of the bread. Yeah. I remember that. Okay, um, I'm gonna save. I don't think I need to. I just need to do this again. But I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go this way. It's the opposite way of the way I'm supposed to go. But I wanna see what happens if you go the wrong way. I feel fundamentally lost. Okay. Just want to see. It's probably that exploring thing that I like to do. And with how fast we move in this game, you know, you just zoom all the way around. Amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. Yeah, that's kind of weird. The secret of Monkey Island must be buried here. This is a little bit too easy. Whoa. Yep. Ah, yep. Is it gonna be lemon head? <laughs> it looks like it was gonna bash his head in. Oh, these guys. Oh, dear lord. Ah, He must be a smart one. Chuck is a greenish, shouty guy with a beard and a big hat. Oh, the trap is full of Chuck? I explains the root beer. <laughs> Why would you want a LeChuck when you can have a guy brush? I'm a confused about who you are double crossing. Is it everybody? Why would you want a LeChuck when you could have a guy brush? This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets. But I guess we could torture him anyway. Hey, hey, what? hey. What was he said about LeChuck's secrets? I know plenty of his secrets. Maybe I can help. Uh, no torture necessary. Maybe I can help. No torture necessary. Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? Um, not exactly. How about his lookout's favorite food? I know that one. How about the first two notes of his theme song? Yeah, it's, uh, what? Da-da? Or do-do? How about 
the first two notes of his theme song. Not enough. Ah! <laughs> this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the it first It was me that caught you guys here. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. <laughs> I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. Really? Uh... You just ask him. You could just ask him. Oh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. And his thought was that? I saw it a lot. Maybe we have an hour. <laughs> we can search his ship for information while he's gone. Yeah, that's cool about all that. I swallowed a lot. Maybe wait a half hour? Or I poke a hole in you and it squirts out right ah, away. I like my way better. <laughs> we could search a ship for information while he's gone? We thought of that, but the ship's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Well, technically, you know. Well, not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship. I can. Probably. I mean, definitely. Uh -huh. Yes. Definitely. Oh, I've done it. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. Fair That's enough. That's the only offer and I won't make it again. In or out. Uh, but what are the alternatives? What are the alternatives? We kill you. I like the idea. I accept. I accept. <laughs> no way. You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Huzzah. Double cross them before they could double cross me. Triple cross. Triple cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool. Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey head if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. No, are not listening. Ah, uh, can we dig this up? I mean, we're this close. Can we just please? Oh boy. I haven't been to these places yet. I don't know why I haven't been to these places. How many mop trees are there? There's one. Ah. Murray, is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh. It's just a spooky skull. Come on, one of these have to be Murray. The rocks around here are treacherous. Huh? Yeah, the age-old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. Sorry, I cut you off on this one. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. <laughs> my sympathies to the unlucky captain. It says the sea monkey. Oh, the sea monkey! Hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island. It is! Wow! The sea monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good Until one. I accidentally suck it. Either that or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. <laughs> the sea monkey. Wow. Oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. I'm kind of disappointed they're not uh, they didn't mention that he accidentally oh, blew up his old ship. I'd love to get ship. the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. I mean, I know that's there, there were two endings to the game. Uh, we got both endings, by the way, in our original playthrough. That was cool how there were two endings. It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. Uh, Morgan Le Fay first appeared in Tales. I like Morgan. I wonder how she's doing. It's kind of hoping she would be in this game. That she was pretty cool. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Especially the way they ended it's it. It's just a rancid skull. You know, it seemed like for the voodoo lady. It seemed like if Telltale could have done season two, they wanted to do more with Morgan. I mean, it almost seems like what they wanted to do was to have the next Tales of McAllen be about Morgan the play, instead of Guybrush. You know, sort of do like a uh, protagonist uh, shift. And I wouldn't mind that. That would be cool. Partner. Three wood. I might it's have me. known you'd be wrapped up in this. Look at him. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours Why you want a? Uh, I do like the moral black areas. Why you want a peg? How was your trip to Monkey Island? Damp. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of glop for some reason. <laughs> but I'll have my revenge on all of them. 
Especially that withered zombie man on the <laughs> chuck <chopsicle. laughs> Are you getting a cut of the secret too? They promised me your skeleton. Minus the head, of course. Oh, well, that's bad. How is it that you're not flat anymore? What the? How did you know about that? Who've you been talking to? <laughs> I've got my eye on you, Threepwood, uh, so to speak. Uh -huh. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? I know an easy way you can find out. Now, stop bothering me. Oh, look at the little lizard. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck right, so that's the I same. Know an Now, stop bothering me. So it looks like we're gonna have to put um skulls on all these. And I have six skulls. I'm no phrenologist, but it seems okay. I'm no phrenologist, but it seems okay. Someone has a nice collection of colored glass bottles. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Ah, uh, I ran into some trouble. Ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news. We get to kill him after all. No, 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 that's not no, it. That's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Okay, I'll see what I can come up with. I wonder if I need that phone book now. Like, I bet you anything, I need the phone. Would the Chuck's map work for making a disguise spell? He was sort of keeping it a secret. Except when he was waving it around and bragging about it. <laughs> That's not even really LeChuck's. Madison made it. Oh, so this map is completely bogus. No wonder why it was so easy. Man. Die. Oh, the... Yeah, we're gonna need the uh, phone book. Uh-huh. No, 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 I, I'm good. I need to get the phone book. I hope there's not an order to these. I got you some friends, Murray. Hey, how about that, Murray? Is it uncomfortable to be stuck? I know it e now. Now, the problem is, though, it says remove skull, which means I think they need to be in a certain order, which is kind of bad. But, you know, at least they're not taking up my inventory right now. So that's good. Uh, let's see here. I need to go all the way. Partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that you're going to betray me. All right, so let's go back to return to LeChuck Papa's ship. And somehow I have to get the poem. I'm not really sure how to do that, though, because he wouldn't give it to me. But now that we know we need something, maybe we'll be able to possibly bypass this. Thinking thoughts I really ought not. Hey, what do you want? Uh, do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? What? So you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. Hey. What do you want? Would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. Do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does a screaming of his enemies count? <laughs> I doubt it. Then no. Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? What? So you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. So I'm, I'm, I'm like positive I need to get this. But how do I get him? I've got a friend who edits a paper. He might be interested in your poems. Ha! Uh -huh. that, that'd be fantastic. But I'm a little inconvenience to the moment you know stuck on the rudder and all that <laughs> maybe you could uh, show my work to your editor friend yes I'd be happy to do that excellent and, uh, and, uh, let's just keep this a secret between us if you don't mind hmm? mum's the word until they're announced all right we are making progress today ah oh, it feels good to actually make progress i just noticed this is a giant face um anyway wow these are really bad poems. <laughs> I see why Gullet was keeping them secret. Okay, now we have a secret, so we'll be able to uh, get the spell. And with the spell, I'll be able to get back on the ship. And then once back on the ship, I need to talk to the uh, 
the girl about the theme song. I need to talk to the chef about the favorite food. And then, uh, not really sure what the other stuff is, but we'll figure it out. Hey, partner. Did you bring something secret from one of the crew? I did. I did. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? I wonder if they're going to turn me into Gullet. Slimy worms that Riley squirm. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. Hey, that rhymes. Dribble. It's That was my rhyme. Don't make fun of that. Why did she start speaking Latin? I studied a little bit of Latin in college. I don't know any of it, but I can recognize it. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. Excellent. Slimy worms that Riley squirm. Ideas fill my head. The poems flow as resentment grows, creatively undead. Ah, that's a pretty good poem, I thought. That's enough for now. I don't want to waste all the magic power. My soul is black. I'm a shining yak. Hey, the, the yak rhymes. growing worse. I miss the me I used to be before the zombies curse. I like how our rhymes Bye. came into play uh, with the, uh, the spells. Meanwhile. This can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. <laughs> Not since my college days. And then I was just... Oh, there's more than one mop tree. Oh, I didn't That's see this. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. <laughs> I didn't know that there was a uh, another mop tree on this island. Man. That's why I said there was one. Sucks. Oh well. Slimy worms that Riley squirm. I wonder if we could go talk to him. Why would him? It's gonna be kind of weird. By the way, look at our leg. It's great animation. Hi. <laughs> what are you? I'm you, obviously. Oh, our, our color changed. I'm the specter of your doom. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. The twit that Chuck's always banging on about. I've been underwater too long. I'm starting to hallucinate. Maybe if I ignore it, it'll go away. Hi. I know you're not real. Go away. Hi. I know you're not Aww. real. Go away. Ah, that was great. I wish I could have said all those responses. Especially Lost Twin one. That was really good. Man, look at the way he's moving his leg. That's so funny. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. Ah, uh, sorry to disappoint you. I'm still feeling the sting of your knife. I'll take more than a bath to get rid of old gullet. I'm still feeling the sting of your knife. I got the knife back, so you let me know if the feeling fades. Your voice sounds funny. I've been out of water. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. <clears throat> I guess. Anyway. Welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. I promise I'll give my utmost attention. It's me, Gullet. Why would you trust me with that? <laughs> it's me, Gullet. Why would you trust me with that? Because you know if you screw it up, I'll stab you again. Yikes. All right. Let's see. Hi, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like it. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. Really? He's got more than one? Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does. Seeing as how she's the cook and all. Right. She's a chef. I'll have you know. What was it you said about LeChuck's favorite food? I said to ask Putra. Oh, oh yeah. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea, but he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. 
Remind me what you said about the Chuck's catchphrase? I said it changes often. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be hard. See ya. That's really gonna be hard if it changes often. <laughs> He's asleep. I wouldn't want to wake him up. Look at the Z's. These things get more sophisticated every year. Hey, I can see all the way to the giant monkey head. Madison, Lila, and Trent are all talking. They look happy. Planning what to do when they're finished with me, no doubt. No doubt. Well, I'll have the last laugh. Ha 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 ha. ha. Maybe. <laughs> Not up here. Hi, kitty. Cat doesn't like, uh... <laughs> he's just laughing. Oh, he's laughing because he's reading the book, of course. Let's ask Chef Butcher first. Go it, you tough old slab of crocodile meat. Somehow I knew you'd make it Of course. Back. Can I fix you something to eat? Um... I would have a Chuck's Le Well, I'll have whatever Le Chuck's having. Le Chuck's on the island, looking for the big secret. You cook for Le Chuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash. Aw, oh, come on. The best chef. Chef. Exactly. You're the best chef I've ever known. Chef? You called me chef. In all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. Exactly, I appreciate you. I don't know you. what happened while you were overboard, but I like this change in you. Aha! Uh, what was it you wanted to know about? The Chuck's favorite food. The Chuck's favorite food. Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yuck! Don't be yeah. me. It's not my favorite food. Yeah, that's a yuck. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, uh, a classic. Uh, can you make me some of that? Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ah. ingredient. Oh, is that the, the, the scary looking thing underwater? What's that thing that Chuck always says? It's sort of his catchphrase. You're a terrible cook, Putra. Mm. Uh, well, I, I was thinking more of something he'd use in all kinds of situations. Then I've got no idea. You know what his catchphrase probably is? Three wood? You really don't know the Chuck's catchphrase? Nope. Do you happen to know LeChuck's theme song? I don't know. Flair's the composer. I think she's on deck duty right now. Yeah, let's no. talk to Flair. I mean, yes, uh, sure she is. Well, I've got work to do. Right. Yeah, let's go talk to her. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. But I want to hear it. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Uh, that's not helping me. What if you just do this? I better not lose the disguise while I'm still on the ship. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Hmm. Okay, oh, yeah, I can't do anything with her. Oh, wow, they did board it up. They boarded it shut. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? <laughs> oh, a card. Uh, what bird is... How? Oh, good God. Um, a parrot. Hey! I got one. I already had some chicken feed. Two. We can go into LeChuck's room. You can't take the veil. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. Oh, hello. If I'm right. It would be a bigger one. It's LeChuck's personal diary. Oh. I pegged him as the type for self-reflection. May 24th. I'm really enjoying this new diary that Cutthroat Kelly got me. I'm pressed that I would bestow this gift upon me. Given I was the one that cut her their throat, I'm going to write in it every day. June 5th. <laughs> it's the 5th of June. Time flies when you have fun, sailing, pillagizing, terrorizing, etc. July 9th. Crazy times tonight. Crew had a what is the most embarrassing guy by story? Game of charades around the big pot. August 1st. 
just crossed the 19th parallel of the mighty terrorized Bermuda. Ran into Pesca custom ship. He's that run and lot of voodoo cannonballs at. August 3rd. Bundled up and went on deck to get some more star charts. Got a good look at the grog mug. November 30th. Arrived at Skull Bay and dropped anchor. Putra is going to make mac and cheese for dinner. If I didn't know better, I'd say she was underperforming on purpose. December 4th. Attack and scuttled a mail ship today. Good fun. The sea was covered with tatters of holiday gift wrapping and it looked like an exploded clown. Brought back fond memories, but I seem to have forgotten the name of the clown. Note to self, do more memory exercises. December 12th. Trying out a new catchphrase. Brandish my blasphemous timbers. This is much better than my last one. December 19th. The new mainsail looks too nice. I'm sending a deckhand up to rip and shred it so it has more of an evil feel. December 20th. New creep keeps asking why I hate Guybrush Threepwood so much. I can't point to one thing with Guybrush. It's an endless list of little annoying things with him. Guybrush keeps popping in my life when I least expect it. I rue the day when I first went up against him years ago after he ruined the wedding to my true love Elaine. December 25th. Decided to get myself a new crutch race for Christmas. Brandish the seven cutlasses! Ho ho ho! January 5th. Forgot to mention crew through... Forgot to mention, crew threw me a birthday party the day after we got to Skull Bay. I keyhole them all. Yes, Kill needed cleaning anyway. January 9th. Thinking about why I hate Guybrush, he seems to think what nemesis he's. Mortal enemies locked in a forever combat. Truth is, I could care less about him. It's like the mosquito thinking what nemesis. When the mosquito is just an annoying insect being squashed. Ha! Yeah, right. January 12th, Iron Rose called my catchphrase tired this morning. Last year, the bow spirit. The bow spirit. But I had decided to give by my bristling beard a try. February 1st, had a long conversation with Rose as we roasted s'mores over burning bodies on the beach of Terra Island. I love that place. Her point of view is that the more I dismiss Skybush as a simple irritant, the more it's obvious that he and I are truly nemeses. February 2nd, making a list of all the reasons I hate Skybush Threefoot. One, stupid name. Who names a kid Guybrush? <laughs> Two, thinks he's a mighty pirate when he's neither. Three, always trying to hunt for the same treasure I am. Four, stole a lane from me. Five, he has much better press than I do. Six, only interested in the glamour of piracy. I walk the walk, he just talks. Seven, my ship is a lot better than his. February 14th, oh Elaine, all these long years I still yearn for the worth of your race. Dang it, Guybrush. The day will come and the end of the is foretold. February 17th. Idea for a new catchphrase. Brandish my blasphemous bilges. Not sure about this one yet. I'll have to sip on it before I put into action. March 9th. Seagulls circling the ship again today. Normally giant mats with wings would be my sort of things. But they try to steal my morning kippers and the whitewashing the decks to the point where none of us can keep our footing. Taking a Kajur in a permanent storm to keep the blasted things at bay. March 12th. The ship is a mess. I'm instituting a new required swabby report. March 30th. Test out new punishment techniques this afternoon. Whaling hooks were highly effective. We'll need to replace a few crew members. <laughs> Only remembered afterwards Rose's recommendation not to use the ship's surgeon as one of the test subjects. We'll schedule her for a few extra lashes for letting me forget. April 1st. I decided to go up terrorizing the seas. When we get to port, I'm going to look into some charity work, dig up my plunder, and pay restitution to my victims. Top of the list is apologizing to Kaibush and giving him a big hug. <laughs> it's April 1st! Oh, it's so good! April 2nd. Ha ha ha, I cracked myself up. April 9th. Decided to revise my catchphrase to Three Boards Bane. Short and sweet. I like it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's kind of seagull. April 10th. Palm with new catchphrase. Hearing three words named too often. I'm going back to one I had on the 17th. May 4th. Map to the secret arrived today. Security measures do not seem to be working. But now that it's here on the ship, I can't possibly fall into wrong hands anyway. I should have had Wally use my personal cipher, but he wanted to bind it tighter to me. We'll have a word with that similarly little map maker about once the secret is recovered. May 8th. Nancy and Matt Floor mentioned Guybrush at dinner. We'll need to hire replacements. Maybe at Malie, already shopping there for voodoo supplies. May 10th, May Port at Malie. Towns look surprisingly unfazed by the presence of the ship. Miss the old days. Note to self, destroy a few buildings with cannon fire next visit. 
May 14th. Just came up with a doozy of an insult. Hee <laughs> hee, I cracked myself up and sent Guybrush to his death. There will be salvation this eve. Note to self, send my condolences to Elaine. Alright, so we sailed um, the 17th. Uh, brandish my blasphemous bilges. So this is his uh, phrase. Brandish my blasphemous bilges. Alright, that's his cut phrase. Uh, cut phrase. Um, catchphrase. Hi, my friends. Well, my name is the Flyless Bird, and this is your Story Base Gaming Channel, and this is our blind Let's Play. Return to Monkey Island for the PC. Thank you for everything, my friends. I love you all so very much, and until next time, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.